Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So glad to see everyone tonight. Welcome to our Monday night prayer. We're excited to be here. We are ready to stand in the gap. And thank you for joining us online. What a privilege it is to gather and pray with the saints here in the sanctuary and with all of you that are online. Um, you know, there's no distance in the spirit and we're connected, right? Whether you're here or you're far away, um, God hears the prayers of saints that come together in unity. So we are excited. We're going to get ready to pray. Pastor Jeff will not be with us tonight, um, but he will be here on Wednesday evening. And so if you're watching online, tune back in on Wednesday night at 7 o'clock and hear what he has to say. It'll be a powerful message. It was a powerful day yesterday, right? We had Ted here from Cambodia. What an awesome time. What a testimony uh, of his ministry and what God's doing in the nation of Cambodia uh, with orphans and just excited to co-labor with him, right? Um, we are part of that ministry. And and as we sow and as he reaps and he does his work, we're, we're a part of that. Amen. We just don't have to be with all the snakes and all the bugs. No. Wherever God send us, as Pastor Bobby so politely said to me, we say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So, well, let's get started. Please feel free. We have up here our groups. We have Ukraine and Poland right here. And we have Russia um, and the surrounding nations over here. And we have Romania with Joanna Rainwater. Please join any circle and know that you have freedom to move around as the, as the Holy Spirit leads you to do so. Amen. So Lord, we just thank you for tonight. We are just thank you, Lord. Ha, Lord, we're just grateful to be able to come together and to pray together. And Lord, what a privilege that we can knit arms, that Lord, we can knit arms, that we can link arms with one another in the body of Christ, that you've called us to be an army. And that Lord, even as we sang that song yesterday about binding us together and as we linked arms, Lord, there was such an anointing of love and of unity in the body of Christ and in this house, Lord. And so Father, we just link arms tonight with you, that Lord, you are the commander in chief. You are the king of kings. You are the lead intercessor, Lord. God. And as we link with you, Lord, that you would lead us and that you would guide us and that you would direct us, Lord God. Holy Spirit, that you would release a spirit of travail and you would release a spirit of intercession, Lord God, that begins to move mountains, Lord God. A travail that reaches the throne of heaven, Lord, and begins to turn the tide, Lord God, that you would uncap the wells within your intercessors, Lord God, that they would travail and that, Lord, we would have your heart, Lord God, that we would not grow weary, Lord, that there would be a grace and there would be a strength to bring to birth the things that you have placed within our spirits, oh God, that we would depend upon you and we would lean upon you, Holy Spirit, to birth your plans and your purposes, Lord God, for our body, for our country, for our nation and the nations around the world, Lord God, that we stand in that place of intercession and we stand in that gap and that Lord as we yield to you that the Holy Spirit would flow in us and through us to pray to groan to hit the mark Lord God that breakthrough would come Lord that you would release vision Lord for breakthrough for a breakthrough anointing for a glory anointing Lord God that we would push past the weights and the weariness Lord God that we would press into you that your promises are true they are yes and amen and let there come a confidence upon the intercessors tonight Lord God to travail with an assurance that we are answering and praying to a God who answers by fire and a God who brings breakthrough and a God who is faithful and a God who will prevail and a God who brings provision and a God who brings healing Lord we thank you we give you glory we give you praise hey hey and the body of Christ said, Amen and Amen. And Paula will wind up come and she'll lead us as we pray for government and officials. 
Hele Bosho Tolo Boshe, you and we praise you and thank you that Bosh. you are the Redeemer, you are the Rock, you are the Mighty One of Israel that redeemed mankind. And we are coming by the blood of our Lord Jesus and we are pointing to the cross and we're asking that you would break the power and the dominion of sin over the United States of America. We are crying out for our government offices and agencies. We are crying out for the federal government, the president, the vice president, the congressman, the senators, the judges on the Supreme Court. We are crying out, oh God, that men would vote for life. We are crying out, oh God, for men and women that would stand for righteousness and truth. We are crying out that the spirit of truth would break the power of deception and delusion over our nation. We are crying out, oh God, for every state, Lord, every 50 states, Lord God, that they would have leaders that would rise up and stand for that which you desire to, to vote against abortion, Lord, that we would be not be a nation that kills the innocent, but we would be a nation that breaks the power of oppression and death. We are crying out for you, Lord Jesus, and we are calling on your name, the name given among men where we may be saved. We are crying out that our nation would be saved, that our government offices would stand for righteousness and truth. We are crying out, oh God, that the Holy Spirit would root out and cut off all sin and iniquity, the power of pride and religiosity and the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes. We are looking to you as our Messiah, as the advocate, as the comforter, as the one Lord that cleanses lepers and raises the dead. We are crying out, oh God, that you would move in our nation, Lord, that you would bring revival. We are looking to you as the Lord of the harvest, and we are asking, Lord, that the gifts of God would be stirred within the United States, Lord, that we would lead, Lord, in evangelism, that we would lead, Lord, in bringing forth your desires. Lord, we are crying out for a passion for souls. We are crying out for revival. We are crying out, oh God, that the power of the gospel would be preached in the United States and there would be a great awakening. There would be a great turning, even the spirit of Elijah turning the hearts of the fathers to the children and the children to the fathers, the hearts of the disobedient to the wisdom of the just. We are looking to you, Lord to break the power of the enemy. We are crying out to heaven for your strategies, for your agenda, for your heart, that we would not uh, murder the innocent, that we would not have a sexual slave trade, Lord God, but that we would exalt the name of Jesus, that we would exalt you and you would show your glory in the United States that you would show yourself strong, for you are the Lord, the King of glory, strong and mighty, mighty in power, able to deliver, able to defeat by many or by few. And we are looking to you, and we are praising you, Lord, that you are working in our cities, our little cities, our little towns and villages. You are working in our great cities, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are bringing forth your promises, and we are holding on to you. We're holding on to you and proclaiming that you are the lion of the tribe of Judah who prevailed. And we are praising you. We are acknowledging you, Lord, that you're our only hope. And we are crying out because you are a father to the fatherless. You are a comforter to those that need comfort. And we need you in Jesus' name. Pastor Bobby will lead us as we cry out for repentance. Hey, Father, we thank you now that you are a God, Lord God, that rules. Lord God, and we come to you. There's none like you, Lord God. And Lord God, we come and we bring this nation before you in all its weaknesses and all its strengths, Lord God. And we ask, Lord God, that the wind of repentance will blow we ask that the Holy Spirit will begin to move among us and reprove this world of sin. 
wherever we have walked contrary to you, will you bring a conviction in the hearts of men and cause repentance to begin to manifest itself, Lord God, in this nation, in every area of this nation, in our schools, Lord God, from college on down, Lord God, let there come the wind of your repentance to begin to blow with the teachers, the school principal, everybody that works in them in the office, Lord, the students themselves, the teachers, Lord God, let there come a wind of repentance that will cause them to bow their knee, especially bow their heart. May there come a great conviction like there's never been before upon them, Lord God, for you say pride goes before destruction. Forgive us for our pride in this nation and let the, the love of God, the meekness, humbleness, Lord God of God, come against every working of pride to lose its grip, Lord God. Destroy from this nation a hearty spirit, Lord God, a self-righteous, egotistical spirit, Lord God, a hardened heart, Lord God, that works from pride, Lord God. Deliver this nation, Lord, cause repentance to move, that strife will be broken off, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. All ungodliness, Lord God, that's working against us, Lord God, ah, destroy a proud look in the minds and the attitudes and the eyes of the people. Let there come a heart of brokenness, a tender heart, Lord. Remove the lying tongue, the hands that shed innocent blood, and a heart that devises wicked imaginations. Lord God, feet that are swift to run to mischief, a false witness speaking lies. Lies, Lord, discord among the brother. Let pride be destroyed in all his fruits and all his roots, Lord God, from this nation. And let there come a repentance like we have never seen before, Lord God, where people bowing their knee to the Almighty, or people, Lord, giving up themselves to the Almighty, Lord God. Hey, come on, Mahaya. We thank you right now, Lord God. Let pride lose its grip on contention, where there's contention in his lane. Lord God, great contention. May the power of pride be broken. He said, only by pride comes contention. Lord God, let contention and pride lose its strength, Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ, he said, he that is a, a, a proud heart stirs up strife, Lord. Destroy the working. Let the winds blow, Lord God, even now, Lord God. Let there be, Lord God, let the hard heartedness be removed. Let the water of your spirit begin to blow, Lord God. Let let ungodliness move. Let the wind of repentance come, Lord God. Break every chain, every shackle, Lord God, that's upon us, Lord God, as a people where darkness have overcome us, Lord God. We cry out tonight, Lord God. Let that darkness flee. Let the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ come forth, Lord God. Let it shine forth in the dark regions of people's hearts and people's minds, Lord God, where it's clogged up everything, Lord God. Lord God, let these chains be broken. Lord God, you have the key. You have the key. Unlock, Lord God, the hands and the feet and the necks that have been enslaved, Lord God, in darkness. Freedom, liberty. We cry out for freedom. We cry out for liberty. We cry out for healing. We cry out for wholeness. We cry out for being made whole, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. You have the keys of death and hell. You take it from them, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We declare all witchcraft that have been sent against us. Spells, potions, Lord God, that have been sent against us with the purpose that caused us to be confused, double-minded, uncertainty, Lord God. All witchcraft that have been specifically sent, Lord. You said you're against the kerchiefs and the pillows in which they hunt for the souls of the righteous to make them sad. We declare sadness, oppression, depression will go from us. Witchcraft will come off of us now. Oh, Lord God, break its strength. All confusion that comes from witchcraft is broken off, Lord God. Lord God, being able to stay attention, your mind is wandering because witchcraft is on you. We declare its power to be broken. Mm. Well, witchcraft make you want to give up, retreat, return, go back, Lord God. We declare that shall not be so, Lord God. Lord, where witchcraft hits us and calls us to be forgetful, we can't remember. 
We can't focus. We declare the power of it to be broken in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft that brings discouragement, Lord God, depression. Now in the name of Jesus is broken off of our minds. Hey, witchcraft that comes and draws our strength, make us tired, make us fatigued, make us weary. We declare it power to be broken even now in the name of Jesus Christ. Even witchcraft that brings fear, anxiety, worry, fret, torment. We declare it power to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. So we thank you, Lord. All witchcraft of our mind, of our wheels, of our emotion are being broken off by the authority and the power of Jesus Christ. We lift up the mindset of this nation, the mental condition of everyone that's been under some great strain. We declare the power of trauma to be broken off of this nation, off of the people, now in the name of Jesus. And where they feel like it's hopeless, they feel like they can't see no future. Lord God, remove the lie of the enemy and bring forth the truth that shall make us free. We ask you these things now in Jesus' name. Amen. Paula will come and let's really cry out for nations. Ha those that we're in relationship with that need our prayer for us to stand in the gap and hold the ropes and for nations that are facing collapse and famine um, let's just really cry out intercessors for them Lord, we thank you that you are the God who sets boundaries and establishes nations and Lord God we are lifting up Lord those that are in pain and torment Lord we are lifting up the nation of Ukraine we're lifting up the nation of Russia we're lifting up the nation of Romania we're lifting up the the nation of Poland and all the surrounding nations into that hot spot of oh God we are crying out that you would send the Holy Spirit to help each one that you would send the Holy Spirit to help the believers to shine his lights we're asking that you would shine as the day spring from on high giving light and guiding their feet into the way of peace we're asking Lord God that you would deal with evil oh Lord God for that is one of the reasons that you sent the Lord Jesus to the earth to destroy the works of the enemy and we're crying out Lord that the works of the enemy would be destroyed in these nations and that the gospel would go forth and that salvations would come we are proclaiming oh God that you are the one who breaks the powers of darkness that you are the one that your name is highly exalted a name given among men where we may be saved a name that is above of every name oh Lord God we are crying out and proclaiming the name of Jesus over the nations of the earth oh Lord God that you would turn the hearts of men to yourself oh Lord that you would pour out your Holy Spirit and that you would draw them that you would release dreams and visions that you would release your gift of prophecy to declare that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father Father, Lord, even as you prayed that the Father would glorify your name, we are crying out of God that you would glorify these nations of the earth, that they would be saved, that they would know the power of the name of Jesus, and they would experience the anointing that breaks yokes, the anointing that breaks mindsets, the anointing that brings deliverance. We are crying out in the name of Jesus that you would minister, that you would empower your workers, Lord, to carry the gospel and to with signs and wonders following. We are crying out for the word of God to be preeminent in the nations of the earth, that they would know that there is a God who rules in the affairs of men. We are crying out, oh God, for those that are persecuted, Lord, that you would enable them to stand strong and to be a testimony of your name. We are crying out, oh God, that you would bring deliverance to those that you have ordained deliverance and you would bring strength and you would release those things that are needed, Lord, in the persecuted church, that they would shine as lights holding forth the words of life. We are crying out for your nation of Israel. We are crying out for the streets of Jerusalem that righteousness and peace would be established in Jerusalem and that the enemies of darkness would be bound and broken 
and that the name of Jesus Christ would be exalted, that the name of Yeshua HaMashiach would be heard in the streets of Jerusalem, and that there would be peace in that great city, and there would be peace in that great nation. We are crying out, Lord, for those that White Horse Christian Center is in relationship with the ordained, Lord, that you would strengthen them, that you would empower them, that you would speak to them, that they would hear your voice and they would follow you. Lord, let all the plans of the enemy be brought to naught. Let all very hex and vex and curse be broken over your leaders. Lord, let your people rise up, Lord. Let that spirit of intercession and travail to birth, to birth souls, to birth a move of God. Let it be released among the nations. Lord, let your leaders be in strong relationships, even knit together as the heart of Jonathan and David was knit together to do exploits in your name. We are crying out, oh God, that your church would rise up as a warring, worshiping church, and that the name of Jesus would be exalted throughout the earth in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pastor Isaac will come and he will lead us as we cry out for the body of Christ and leaders that finances would be uh, prosperous and that the word would be preached and that strategies, we need strategies for now. So let's join with Pastor Isaac. Lord Jesus, we lift up the body of Christ before you and we prophesy over the body of Christ and we declare a body of Christ that is strengthened and fortified in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. We declare, Father, just like King David said in Psalm 27 3, even though an army rises up against us in our hearts, we will not fear. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare, Father, your word. We declare an uproar in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, we prophesy over your body, over the leaders. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare power and might and strength flowing from the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, we lift up every leader, every apostle, every pastor every evangelist, every teacher, Lord Jesus Christ, the fivefold ministry, Father. We lift them up before you, Father, and we declare strength over their bodies, over their mind, over their spirit, man. Lord Jesus Christ, we declare their families being blessed, the families of the ministers that take the hits. We declare the pastor's kids, the children of the pastors, of the ministry, the legacy, in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that they arise in the name of Jesus Christ, that we arise, Father. I, I, we lift up before you my generation, the generations that are following Pastor Jeff, Pastor Bobby, Pastor Tracy, and all the pastors, we declare, Father, that we also flow in that river of purity, of holiness, of consecration, of power of the Holy Spirit, Lord. We declare, Father, the body of Christ bold and full of the Holy Spirit, just like in the book of Acts, as Peter stood up with boldness. We declare that we preach with boldness in the name of Jesus Christ, just like Apostle Ted said that we don't come with you to with persuasive words, to rub your back, to pat you on the back but we declare demonstration and power of the Holy Spirit from the pulpit we declare fire on the altars in the name of Jesus Christ we declare fire on the pulpits in the name of Jesus Christ why because we serve a living God we serve a living God he is not dead he is very much alive and his power is strong and the power of the blood of Jesus continues strong we come against every stronghold in the name name of Jesus. We bind up the stronghold and we send them out in the name of Jesus. Not in our name, but in the name above all names. And that's the name of Jesus. The enemy, Satan, has to obey like a dog to the voice of Jesus because he was conquered. We have a defeated enemy. The devil is a liar. And we arise and we declare and we prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare our children, men and women of God, we declare, Father, that they don't have to go through the same mistakes that we have gone, Father, that they will rise up in integrity, that they will rise to the occasion in the name of Jesus Christ. 
We declare fire over this altar, Father. That it wouldn't just be the leaders that seek you wholeheartedly. We ask for a hunger over the body of Christ, Lord. A hunger over the body of Christ. We repent, Lord, for taking for granted the glory that is in here. The glory that is upon the servants of the Lord in this house, Lord, and the leaders. We repent because we have taken it lightly. We have taken it for granted. But Lord Jesus Christ, we declare hunger over the body of Christ. We declare an appetite for your word, Lord, that we wouldn't just come for an experience, but that we would be transformed, that our minds would be renewed through your word. Let it be a rhema word that transforms us from the head, Father, all the way to the body in the name of Jesus Christ. Start with me. Start with every single one of us, Lord. We don't want to continue going around in a circle. We want change. We want to be more like you, Lord. We want to reflect you. We want to represent you. We want to lift up the banner of Jesus Christ. We want your name to be echoed throughout the nations in the name of Jesus. Lord, you are our hope. You are our strength. We declare Malachi chapter 3 verse 10, the benefit of the tithe. And we declare that the windows of heaven are open in the name of Jesus. That we will be, continue being a dispensing vessel unto the nations. We declare, Father, finances coming in so that we could bless the nations and food for friends. Lord Jesus, we thank you for lifting up apostles. We thank you for raising up apostles. And that is going to the next generations, Father. That is not stopping. There will be more Apostle Ted's. A powerful testimony that he wasn't looking to do what he does, but you put it in his hands. So, Lord Jesus Christ, that's what we want. We want to continue blessing the orphans, the widows. Lord Jesus Christ, that's according to your word. That is Bible. We want to do that, Father, for you. We declare strategies from heaven, strategies, biblical strategies, strategies found in our intimate place, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, I prophesy over Whitehorse Christian Center that it becomes strengthened in the name of Jesus Christ. That we all stand to attention, that we all go to the battle line, Father. And we prepare ourselves for battle in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare an advancement in the body of Christ. We declare an uproar in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father. We thank you that by faith you're working now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hele Mahasan. They will now pray for souls and salvations. And uh, ha, ha. I'm going to ask you to stand if you can. And we're going to do sort of a prophetic act as we're going to be the father that's standing and looking for our prodigals to come home on the horizon with faith and expectancy and preparation as we pray for sons and daughters of our own flesh to come home and sons and daughters in the faith to come home and prodigals out on the streets. We're gonna stand as the father. Lord, we cry out, Lord God, as a father and as a mother, Lord, as we stand and we cry out and we look to the horizon, Lord, we look with faith and we look, and Lord, we look with expectancy to see our sons and daughters coming over the horizon, running to come home to the Father's house, running to come into the Father's love, running to come to a place of safety, a place of refuge, a place where they can be filled, a place where they can be fed, a place where they can be loved. Oh God, we ask you to send them home and bring them to themselves, Lord God, that they We stand with faith and we stand with experience. 
Lord, we cry out, Lord God, that there will be a wave of salvations and a wave of deliverances and they would come home to see the Father and they would come home to know your love and there would be deliverances and freedom, Lord God, would flow with these altars and on these prayer lines that the power of the Holy Spirit would be manifested in these services to confirm the gospel message that's preached from this pulpit that there's a God who can bring deliverance and there's a God who can bring salvation. Lord, we cry out, let the fire of God move on these lines. Let the fire of God move in those prodigals. Let the fire of God move in the body of Christ and burn off everything that binds them. Everything that chains them would be burned up in the fire of God and the love of your goodness and the love of the Father, Lord God. May they come to know you and Lord, may they never look back when they've come in to experience you, Lord God. May they never look back and may those who have think that I have tasted Christianity, I have tasted of it and I don't agree or I don't believe or I don't uh, have a witness, Lord, that all of those lies would be shattered in the name of Jesus and that, Lord, that they would have an encounter with you wherever they are, Lord God, that even as the prodigal was in the pig pen and he came to himself and he said, I remember, I remember my father's house. I remember how good that it was there. May those fathers, may they come, may they come home and may you bring them. And Lord, may our hearts be ready. May our hearts be ready, oh God, to see them prosper and to help them and to travail till Christ would be formed in them and that not one would be lost. Lord, we believe you for a harvest. We believe you for a move of God. We believe you, Lord God, for deliverances in this house and the power of the Holy Spirit would be stronger than ever before, not for selfish gain, oh God, but to see people set free and to see marriages restored and people healed, oh God, relationships healed. Lord God, you are the God of restoration. And Lord, we declare it in this house that you're a God of restoration and a God that reconciles the people to him, Lord. And we thank you, Lord God, and we praise you. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, oh God. We believe in you, Lord. We believe in your promises, Lord. Every promise over our children, every promise over our grandchildren. We believe it, oh God, you're going to fulfill it. We believe that you're going to move, Lord God, and that not one of them will be left behind. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, oh. glory, glory Ooh. to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your glory. Hey, Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you, thank you. We say in this night, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you, Lord, because your presence is wonderful, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you. Heavenly Father, thank you for every family. Thank you, Lord, for the for each family in the name of Jesus. Each family needs you, Lord. We declare salvation in each family in the name of Jesus, Lord. Bring unity in, the, in each family in the name of Jesus. We need you, love, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask again for the families in the name of Jesus. We declare in victory and liberty in each family in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, thank you, Lord, Thank you for each marriage in the name of Jesus. Bring wisdom and knowledge, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And each marriage, hey, in the rebosa, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask, Lord. We ask also for expecting mothers, Lord. Bless the expecting mothers, Lord. We declare in miracles and healings and, and this uh, wonderful woman in the name of Jesus. Bless the babies, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Right now declaring uh, your blood over the babies in the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus, Lord, we cover the babies with the blood of Jesus. We declare uh, angels around them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask for the children in the name of Jesus. Bless the children, Lord. We ask uh, for the children uh, from Ukraine and surrounding nations, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We ask for the children affected and the children at home hearing disturbing reports, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Freedom for, from fear in the name of Jesus. Freedom, 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 freedom from, he, from fear in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray against misinformation and fear mongering through social media and outlets in the name of Jesus, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask, we ask, Lord, for the youth people, hey, for the youth people, Lord, Lord, they have a lot of intention, Lord, but you have power to destroy uh, everything and sin in the youth people in the name of Jesus. We rebuke, Lord, in the name of Jesus, all the attacks of the enemy in the name of Jesus. And we declare in victory in the name of Jesus over the youth people, Lord. We bless the new generations, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, bless the finances, Lord, bless the finances in the name of Jesus. Bless the generations within families, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Ooh, in the name of Jesus, we believe in you, Lord. We believe in you. You are a powerful God. Hey, hey, you Ramasokama, you are a powerful God and you I shall come higher and you uh, make you make miracles Lord in the name of Jesus Padre en el nombre que es sobre todo nombre venimos una vez más delante de tu presencia para pedirte que bendigas a las familias de esta tierra bendice a cada familia declaramos Señor bendición y declaramos salvación en las familias en el nombre de Jesús en cada matrimonio Señor Señor los bendecimos declaramos Señor libertad declaramos tu presencia declaramos que tu Espíritu Santo es sobre cada familia sobre cada matrimonio bendecimos a las mujeres embarazadas declaramos milagros declaramos sanidades declaramos que los niños son bendecidos que los babies son bendecidos Señor en el nombre de Jesús levanta jóvenes Señor en el poder de tu nombre levanta 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 a los jóvenes Señor, todo pecado se va en el nombre de Jesús de Nazaret y nuestros jóvenes son libres, libres para adorarte, libres para bendecirte Señor, salva la juventud, salva la juventud Señor, bendice las finanzas, bendice las finanzas en el nombre que es sobre todo nombre, nuestras generaciones son bendecidas Dios en Cristo Jesús, amén. Pastor Gary will come and lead us as we cry out for miracles, healings, hey, signs and wonders. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you that you're touching and healing bodies right now. God, we ask you, Father, that you just begin moving. Move on your people right now, Lord. Restore strength. Lord, just restore our vitality, restore our endurance, God. As intercessors, God, we pray that you just put, supercharge us, God, so we can pray. Lord, that we would just push aside everything that would hinder us, every distraction, God. Come on, intercessors, let's push in for a few minutes here. Lord, restore us right now. Strengthen us, God. Fire us up, Lord. Lord, push us right on through intercession. Give us that second wind of prayer. Push us right in, God. Lord, as we pray for miracles, we pray for those that are around us. Lord, the, those who are having mental disorders. Lord, we pray for chemical imbalances that are a plaguing and attacking the body of Christ right now. Gout, in Jesus' name, come down. Parkinson's, come down right now. Arthritis, come down right now in Jesus' name bursitis and shoulder problems. Hey, thank you, Lord. Heart disease, AFib gone right now in Jesus' name. Kidney failure gone right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for those who are, who are being affected by long COVID uh, symptoms, God. 
loss of hair, loss of taste, and loss of smell, loss of memory, Lord. Stanima, come back in Jesus' name, Lord. Strengthen your people, God. Strengthen your people. Lord, we pray you show yourself strong. Show yourself strong, Lord, with miracles. God, show yourself strong that you would even do miracles over, over nature, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for healing cancer. Thank you, Lord, for uh, removing tumors. Thank you, Lord, for removing polyps. Thank you, Lord, for removing stones. Thank you, Lord, for removing cataracts. Come on, church. Thank you, Lord, that you're the God who touches blind eyes. You're the God that embraces the leper. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, that no new variant, no new virus, no new pox is going to stand in the way of a healing God. Lord, that you're bigger than any disease. You're bigger than any symptom. You're bigger than any ailment. You're bigger than any sickness. You're bigger than any disability. You're bigger than anything that would try to come criticize us and attack our minds, Father. We thank you that you are bigger. You are bigger. You are a big, big God. Lord, as intercessors right now, we take our rightful place in the kingdom. We step in, God, to what you have placed us here to do. And we begin to pray without ceasing, Lord. We pray, God. We ask you, Father, for signs. We ask you for miracles, Lord. We ask you to touch and heal your people. And, Lord, that you show off for the world that does not know you. Lord, show off for the world that does not know you. We pray, God, that you would just make yourself known that you would make the name of Jesus famous throughout our region. We thank you, God, that you're still doing miracles. You do miracles so great. Miracles. God, just open our eyes to see your miracles every day, to expect your miracles every day. And we give you praise, God. We glorify your name, God. We glorify your name, God. We exalt you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Kiloroto moskere madi ande kiloroto. Then chekiri madi ambaria to koria te kishe te kiyate. Can we pray in tongues really loud just for a few minutes? Yeah, I feel like we're right on the threshold of breaking into something, some type of he healing. S somebody here is having like heart fluttering, like your heart's out of sync, feelings like, like you, you thought it was, um, I don't know, uh, in addition to something, but God's touching that and he's healing it right now. Come on, church. Come on, let's just start praying for somebody else. Lord, heal that heart right now. Put it back in rhythm, God. Shock it, rhythm, God. Shock it right back in rhythm. So, uh, I, I feel like there's some of our, our, somebody here or maybe online, you're having intestinal problems. Like there's all kinds of colon issues and, and just, just maybe diarrhea and all kinds of problems. God touch that right now in Jesus name. Healing. If that's you, just grab hold of it. God's touching and healing right now. He's not a man that he could lie. He's, he's actually reaching out and bringing healing power right now. Virtue is flowing out of Jesus. If that's you, just see yourself receiving that healing right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Somebody has a serious pain right in between their shoulder blades, almost like a pinched nerve and a tightness right in between their shoulder blades. God's touching that right now. Come on. Come on. You're probably going to feel some heat right in that area, right in between your shoulder blades. If that's you, just reach out and grab that right now. God's touching feet right now. If that's you and you, your arches are hurting, your tendons are hurting, the balls of your feet are hurting, God's touching feet right now. He's healing you. He's healing your feet right now. Beautiful feet. Beautiful feet. He's giving you sure-footedness in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
God's increasing night vision right now. Some of you, uh, you're having a hard time driving at night, looking at the lights at night. Your eyes are blurry. God's touching that right now. He's healing you right now. Right now. Come on, just reach out and grab it. Just reach out and grab that. Actually, the things you could not do before God's starting to move on right now. He's moving it. The things you used to do before that you can't do anymore, God's moving on it. He's restoring. He is the restorer. He is the restorer. He's restoring our souls. And we give you praise, God. You're a miracle working God. Thank you, Lord. You are a miracle working God. You're a miracle working God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can we thank him just for a minute? Thank you, Lord. We just praise you, God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hey, let's pray for our youth summit coming up, our youth conference and special projects. Lord, we thank you. Lord, I just thank you. I thank you, Lord God, for a body, for a house that believes in the next generation, for a, a house that would host a conference for the next generation, Lord God. Father, I just cry out tonight, Lord, as we agree, hey, that Lord, you would move powerfully in our youth summit. Lord God, as our teenagers in this house and their friends gather together next month, that Lord, there would be an open heaven and that Lord God, that you would begin to tear down the walls and you would tear down the weights that are on them and you would begin, Lord God, to put a hunger in them, a hunger to come, a hunger to meet with you, a hunger, Lord God, to be with their friends in this place, Lord. Father, we cry out for a move of the Holy Spirit that would in energize, that would strengthen, that would help them, Lord God, to overcome, that, Lord God, they would have a fresh encounter, that, Lord, many of them would come back to you, Lord, that you would light a fire of passion in them for your word and for you. Hey, hey, Lord God, we just pray, Lord God, that this house would be filled with teenagers from wall to wall, from side to side, filled filled with teenagers worshiping you and the glory of God descending upon them, Lord God, and depositing calls and anointings and mantles upon them, Lord God, and that lies would be shattered and purposes would be explored and explained to them, and they would know, they would know their purpose in you, oh God, and that the lies and the and the temptations of the enemy would be broken, and they would have a hunger for you like they have never had a hunger before, Lord God. We cry out for a move of God in this place, that they would not come to play games, that they would come to seek the Most High God, that they would come and experience you and the power of your word to change their lives, oh God, and that chains would be broken off of them, Lord God. Lord, we cry out and we stand in the gap, Lord, and we will continue to pray and continue to intercede and continue to ask and to continue to knock for this generation to arise, to arise into their calling, to arise into the place that you would have them to be, that Joseph's would begin to arise and Shadrach, Meshach's, Abednego's and Daniel's would begin to arise. Apostles arising, teachers arising, pastors arising, evangelists arising, Lord, prophets arising with a pure word. Lord, let them arise and hear the word of the Lord. Father, we cry out that the heavens would be opened. And Lord, as they come, that they will have expectancy to hear from you. I pray, God, that you would give every youth leader a vision to bring their youth here and that finances would not be a problem, that there would be no hindrance, Father, for them to get here and get in this house and get in this river. And Lord God, to be set free, that hopes would be restored and dreams would be restored, that they can do what you've called them to do, Lord. 
Lord, whether it be an apostle or whether it be a doctor, whether it be a stay-at-home mom or whether it be a prophet to the nations. Lord God, that you can make those dreams and those hopes and those callings that you have placed within them to arise again. Lord God, that depression and suicide and hopelessness would be broken and hope and vision and life and new life and new vision be restored to this generation that Lord that no matter what would happen you will never forsake them you will never leave them Lord God that you lay down your very life for them may they come to know the love of the Father and may that Lord a love be poured out that Lord they're hungering to know that you are real they are hungering to know your love Lord God we cry out Lord that you will just move powerfully and mightily in this place and in this house in our teenagers and those that will come in the name of Jesus. And Pastor Ignacio will come as we cry out for revival. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your grace and your mercy, Lord. In the middle of the darkness, light come in the name of Jesus. In the middle of the problems and circumstances, your glory come in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We ask for your revival, for your move, for your power, for your anointing in the name of Jesus. Send your passion to the people to love you in the name of Jesus. Send your power, Lord, to the people to ask for you in the name of Jesus. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah, people of God, revival in the name of Jesus. People of God, revival in the name of Jesus. People of God, is revival in the name of all name, in the name of Jesus. Fire, fire, fire of God, fire of the Holy Spirit, fire in the tongues, fire, Lord, in eyes, fire, Lord, in minds, fire in the spirit, fire in the in the in the in the, in the emotions to believe in you Lord in the name of Jesus people receive now in the name of Jesus people could to cry right now to pray right now they receive right now the missionaries the apostles the pastors the prophets the evangelists the pastors to cry to you right now in the different nations Lord right now they receive revival in the name of Jesus everyone to watch to us right now they receive revival fire in homes fire in church Churches, fire of the Holy Spirit in the congregations, fire in the pulpit, fire in the congregations to cry to your revivals, miracles, and wonders in the name of Jesus. Because you are the same, you are the same God, you are faithful God, you are the God of bubble gods in the name of Jesus, and you receive all glory, all honor in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you produces strength in everyone in the name of Jesus and everybody in the name of Jesus. People with he will be healed in the name of Jesus. People receive miracles right now in the name of Jesus. People receive that miracle right now in the name of Jesus. Your revival produce evangelists. Hallelujah. Spirit evangelize in the name of Jesus. Bless the congregation to cry to you. You are the Lion of Judah. You are the Lion of Judah. We ask for revival in Russia. We ask for revival in Ukraine. We ask for revival in Europe. We ask for revival in Asia. We ask for, for revival in America. We ask for revival in America. We ask for revival in United States. Lord, in the name of Jesus, in White House, revival in the White House, in the name of Jesus, in the Congress, revival in the street, revival in the schools, revival in the middle of the darkness, revival in the streets right now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You continue calling to the people to the serve you in the name of Jesus. Revival to serve you in the name of Jesus. Revival in this house for revival is for serve. Lord, bless the people to serve you in the name of Jesus. And calling, Lord, calling your people. Hallelujah. In the middle of the night, in the name of Jesus. In the middle of the night, you call him. In the middle of the night, you 
send you dreams. In the middle of the night, you move your hands, Lord. In the name of Jesus, you are the same. You are the same God. You, you, you burned the heart of Daniel, Lord, in the past. Oh, Lord, we want to have a burn in the house. In the name of Jesus, on your glory. In the Pentecostal day, you move your glory. Right now, you move the same move, Lord, in the name of Jesus. The Pentecostal move in the churches right now in the name of Jesus. Miracles and wonders in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The people receive by faith right now. Hallelujah. The people is sick, but you are the healer. And we declare you power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, because you are the same. You are the faithful God. Hallelujah. Everything that happened was happening in the Bible. I want to see you again in the name of Jesus. We want to see you move. We want to see you touch. We want to see you fire in the churches, in the name of Jesus, in the jungle, in the in the desert, hallelujah, in the mountains, in the Sierra, in the name of Jesus, send you glory, send you glory, send you glory, Lord, in the name of Jesus, you are the same, Lord, teaching us to believe in you, hallelujah, teaching us to believe in you again, in the name of Jesus, we need you, Lord, Oh, Korea manana na haya, e kareba da 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 ha. All, all the spirit, hallelujah, contrary to your voice, is destroyed, is disappear right now. All darkness in the name of Jesus is disappear right now in the name of Jesus. O reba to reka to shandera, o karoba sheya ra ba 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 ba. Your power is above all. Your power is above all. Your glory is above all in the name of Jesus. Holy. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, all wall of darkness is destroyed in the name of Jesus. All spirit contrary to your voice is destroyed right now, is rebuked right now. In the name of Jesus, we believe in you. We believe in your miracles. We will believe in, in your wonders. And in the name of Jesus, send you glory, Lord. Send you move in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to your name, Lord. Only you will be glorified. Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit, hallelujah, send angels, Lord, to the houses, send angels in the middle of the night to the air, the houses, hallelujah, power in your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus, send your visitation, oh Lord, we want to see you, hallelujah, we want to see you in love, we want to see you in passion, we want to see you in, 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 in compassion, Lord, in the name of Jesus, bring to us, how to your community, bring to this church your passion, Lord, your compassion in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your move. Thank you for your spirit. All the spirit of confusion, all the spirit of contrary to your voice, Lord, is rebuke in the name of Jesus is destroy in the name of Jesus hallelujah we believe in you Lord and you are the only God you are the only God and we trust in you no matter what we trust in you Lord we not trust in, in congregations or in buildings or in, in, in persons we trust in you Lord only in you we trust one another Lord in, 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 in unity in love we want my trust my true trust is in you Lord every one Lord in this building in this church in this house trust in you bless them in the name of Jesus Lord in the name of Jesus all the spirit of darkness all the spirit of attack to the enemy to try to destroy the unity or try to destroy the communion one another in the name of Jesus His rebuke is destroyed right now in the name of Jesus Oh, Lord, bless us. Bless your congregation. Bless your, ch your church. Bless your people in the name of Jesus. Send your congregation and holiness. Bring your holiness, Lord. In the name of Jesus, send your blood, Lord. We, we declare your blood in us to clean us in the name of Jesus. You justify to us in the name of Jesus and your blood, Lord. And we trust in you in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. God, show me one worship tonight. Hallelujah. The word is uh, healings. The Spirit of God sent healings in this season. Well, never before. Healings, supernatural healings in different, in different areas, in different people in the name of Jesus. God wants to send rewards at the congregation. 
to, to, to trust in Him. He, he will be sent to you that miracle where you ask for you, ask for you, knock for you, uh, wait for, because you have hope, save the Lord. God sent you uh, that miracle in, you, in your body in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God showed me yesterday in the night, Sunday night, that, that, that word for the woman's. Woman's to suffer. Woman's to have a, a, a challenge, physical challenge. The healer is in the house. Very powerful. Very unique anointing. This river is river. To, the, the, the healing river is, is right now in the name of Jesus. And only what you would need to do, woman, is jump in the river and declare the word of God and declare, I am healed in the name of Jesus. And God will we heal you in the power of the Holy Spirit, in the power of God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Pastor Martha, in here, your pain is gone in the name of Jesus. All attack to the enemy. Sister Jane, Sister Jaina is gone in the name of Jesus. Linda, in the name of Jesus, the healer is in the house. Sister Don, in the name of Jesus, the healer is in the house. God, bring me names right now in the name of Jesus. And, 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 and people would have a, can, cannot sleep well in the name of Jesus. It, the, the, that, that spirit is rebuked right now in the name of Jesus. People would have, suffer uh, stress in the name of Jesus. His rebuke is, is, is removed his spirit right now. Man and woman cannot sleep because the, the spirit of torment comes. His is rebuke right now in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit to contrary to the word of God is rebuked right now is, 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 is moved right now in the name of Jesus because you fight in faith the Holy Spirit says I am with you and I bring you peace and I bring you power right now in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit thank you for tonight seal this word in the name of Jesus thank you Holy Spirit for your power and the anointing in the name of Jesus hallelujah thank you Holy Spirit let's just thank the Lord let's just stand and thank the Lord hallelujah Lord we just thank you Lord we just thank you for your healing power we thank you lord for your healing touch lord we thank you lord that you're quickening your body with strength and rewards and healings in this season lord we rejoice in prodigals coming home lord we rejoice in the body of christ being renewed and restored lord we give you glory we give you praise hallelujah hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord hey hallelujah Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You are so good, Lord. You are so faithful. You are so faithful. We can always depend on you. In Jesus' name, thank you. So thank you for joining us online tonight. We're delighted that you were able to join us, and we pray the Lord would bless you in the week to come, and that Lord, that the uh, blessings of the Lord, that rewards would overtake you. We will not be here next Monday night. Uh, it's Memorial Day, and our offices will be closed, and there will be no prayer that night, but we'll be back the following Monday. So until then, God bless.